Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. The topic for today's discussion is remote or virtual presentation. Remote presentation is any kind of a presentation that take, take place in a virtual setting, which means that the presenter or the speaker and your listeners or the audience are not in a same physical space. We need to understand that when virtual presentation or remote presentations can happen. As we already know that we have gone through the COVID period, in that time, we get to know about this kind of a presentation in more better understanding. Remote presentations can take place, for example, if you want to attend a conference that is taking place in Turkey or in France, you can take place it by sitting in your own home, which means that you don't need to go physically over there and you can attend it through teleconferencing or video chatting or a professor who wants to conduct a lecture with his students who are not physically available in the premises. Then on the other hand, we have another kind of presentation that is known in person or traditional presentation, which takes place in a environment where speaker and audience are physically available in front of each other. And it helps the presenter to see the emotional response of his audience because everyone is sitting in front of him. When he's speaking, he can see that who and how people are reacting to whatever the things he has to share with him. So we can see that there is a difference between virtual presentation and in-person presentation. Virtual presentation is kind of a presentation which is a prepared talk in which uh, the audience and the speakers are in a geographically different location. And in-person presentation is a form of a presentation where speaker and listeners are in a same setting. There are few things that make virtual presentation more convenient and more easy as in the modern times. The first thing is that, that it, it is easy to access. Whoever has a good internet connection can get involved in this kind of presentation because you, and it is also very cost uh, friendly because when you are conducting an in-person presentation, what you need to do is that you need to hire, rent a big hall uh, for the audience to sit and uh, you need pro proper uh, multimedia lights and infrastructure and uh, the audience has to come over there. There is a commute and everything. But on the other hand, when it's a virtual presentation, you do not need to hassle about all these things. You just can have, you can easily access it. Uh, a person who is sitting in the France can, can, uh, can take part in a conference that is happening in Mexico or in USA. So it is easy to access uh, for everyone and it is cost friendly as well. There are a few things that you need to keep in mind when you are uh, presenting in a virtual setting. The first one is that you need to uh, set your objective, a proper agenda. What was the intended outcome of your presentation? Then you need to pick a proper template, which means it must have a proper layout, the font size, the color scheme. Apart from this, if you are using certain visuals like images or pictures, uh, it should be good pixels. And uh, you need to uh, pick up a good hosting platform, like if you are conducting on Zoom or you are using Google Meet, uh, you need to pick uh, your platform. And the last thing is that, that you need to keep in mind is a principle of 10, 20, 30, which was given by a person whose name is Guy Kowalski. He said that your presentation should not be less than 10 slides and you should not speak more than 20 minutes. And 30 means that any font that you are using in your slide should not be less than 30. There are few tips that you can uh, keep in mind when you are presenting virtually. The first thing is to test your technology because you are relying on it so much. Sometimes uh, power failure can happen. Sometimes internet connection can lose. So you must have a backup. Uh, other than this, uh, you need to create a professional environment. If you are using visuals, it should be very striking. Uh, when you are presenting virtually, try to speak slowly and very clearly because everyone can understand you. Uh, take, uh, keep track of your time. Time management is very important. And try to engage with your audience and interact with them.
Apart from this, we can see there is a few uh, disadvantages or flaws of uh, virtual presentation. The first one is uh, like sometimes internet connection can be lost and if uh, you are uh, in a virtual presentation, if you're an audience, you may lose important information or important points. Uh, other than that, uh, another flaw is that some uh, platforms do not cater larger audience. There is a fixed number that can take part. So this is one other uh, disadvantage of virtual presentation because when you are conducting in-person presentation, you have a big hall in front of you which can cater like hundreds and thousands of people at the same time. But when you're presenting virtually, uh, some platforms have this restriction that you can cater only a fixed number of people. So this is one flaw of uh, virtual presentation as well. So in order to sum it up, uh, we can say that a virtual presentation is cost friendly. It is easy to access and um, it helps to cater uh, diverse people, uh, people who are not physically available, who cannot be a part of uh, a setting and they cannot come to a certain place. Uh, but apart from this, there are few disadvantages as well, like as we discussed uh, in a virtual setting, power failure or internet connection can be lost and it can affect the flow of information.